So I always start out my workouts by doing some dynamic warm-up, just swinging my arms, getting my body warm. I don't really do anything crazy in my warm-ups because I don't lift heavy, so I don't need extensive warm-ups. And in this video, I basically want to show you my upper body workout, which I did in like a street workout place in Bangkok, close to my university. And I start out with exposed chin-ups. I do about 10 reps on this exercise because I just want to kind of like wake up my body after a long day and just, you know, pull myself, all my energy up to the bar and get some blood flowing and just wake up my body. And then right after the chin-ups, I do diamond push-ups. And the same principle applies here. I just do some fast reps to wake up my body. And after that is done, I do shoulder presses, seated. Usually I do them standing, but this time I do seated. And on this exercise, I did about four sets of eight to 12 reps. And this is one of my favorite exercises. So it's a staple in my training regimen. And after that, I do some biceps curls. And if you see here, I'm bending a bit forwards and that's so I can keep my elbows close to, uh, to my body and really focus on the biceps contraction. And I learned that from my mentor, Jay Campbell from FabFit Over 40. And I superset the biceps with the diamond push-ups on a decline. So you can see like a switch from diamond push-ups to biceps back and forth. And the second set on the biceps curls, I use a reverse grip. So I hit both biceps heads. And I basically just did two sets of biceps curls and two sets of the decline diamond push-ups superset. And I did that because, I mean, there's no point in just doing biceps. Why not do both biceps and triceps together? They are different muscle groups, so you can save time by doing that. And after I was done with that, I was kind of tired already. I had done like 10 sets uh, in my training, so I was doing handstand push-ups while being tired, and you can see I couldn't even go all the way down, but I kind of like to do heavy exercise in the middle of my training to overload the body. I found that to be good for growth. And once I'm done with the handstand push-ups, I move on to a, a lead pull-down machine, and I use very light weights because this is uh, like a light day for my back. I had done uh, back training the day before, so I didn't want to lift heavy for my back. So I just did some uh, lead pull-downs to get some blood flowing. And right after that, I jumped into uh, doing uh, push presses. So you can see I'm, I'm using some hip drive to get the weight up, and I'm using about 135 pounds here for five reps. And I'm already exhausted at this point, but I'm still doing a decent amount of weight. And after that, I move on to abs, where I'm doing the ab roller. And at this point, I'm just tired. I have done, I don't know, 15 sets or so on my on various exercises for arms and back and shoulders and, and chest. So I'm just doing some uh, ab roller. And once I'm done with the ab roller, I move on to doing some weighted sit-ups. And the weighted sit-ups, I use a bit heavier weight than usual because I like to mix it up and just go by feel. Like some days I feel like, okay, I should do high reps, so I do high reps. Other days I do a bit lower reps, so I don't have a training routine set in stone. All the stuff I'm doing here is just stuff I made up while being in, in the workout place. I just decided, okay, I want bigger shoulders, so obviously I will start my workout with some shoulder presses. And my abs are also disappearing, so I did some extra sets for abs this time. So my, my training is very instinctive. I don't have like a set workout that I do every time. Although I do recommend beginners to, to have a set workout. I don't think you should just train instinctively if you don't have experience to do so. And I finished off my workout with some more abs doing leg races. And if you notice here, I try to swing as little as possible, although I am swinging a bit. But the key on this exercise is to swing as little as possible. And get in some good reps while keeping the tension on the abs. And this is the final set of my workout where I'm doing some regular sit-ups. And at this point, I'm just completely exhausted in my upper body and just want to go home and eat some food. So yeah, that's what I had for you today. That's how my workout looks like. It's not that structured. If you want a personalized plan, go to oscarforcourt.com slash coaching and I'll make a customized training program and diet plan for you and it's actually not just that, it's also ongoing coaching with weekly progression tracking and a, a Google Excel sheet. And you can email me any questions you have and I'll respond within 24 hours. And I don't coach that many clients at the same time because I want to keep the quality of my service high. So right now I'm only coaching six people. And I'm about to finish school so I'll be able to coach more people after this month. So. 
I'm taking in applications and applications close on Sunday. So make sure to go to oscarforcrow.com slash coaching and sign up for my personal training if you want to have a spot on the next round.